How's it going, YouTubers? Amber and I just taking a day trip and doing some sightseeing, and as you can see, we're uh, in the beautiful town of Seddon's Corner, Manitoba. The extent of the town is the gas station. two-room motel and you can see the house over there. That's about it. Um, we're actually going to be traveling up to a place there used to be a hydroelectric dam uh, called Pinawa. And we'll take you there when we get there. And uh, the town was quite old. I can't remember exactly how old. We'll let you know when we see the signs and everything, because it's kind of a historical site now. But the, the old dam is still in place. Uh, they just took all the guts out of it, so it's just got the concrete and then the, uh, the tunnels for the water are left. So... Uh, well, uh, we're just stopped here uh, for a stretch our legs a little bit and grab some ice cream maybe and catch up with you in a bit. Town Hall. This is about where it would have been. This town was built around 19, was around 1900, I believe. Um, and when they closed the dam, everything basically closed up as well. So as you can see, there's, they've made it into a park and picnic area now. The old stone foundation. A bunch of trees growing where the building was. and cattle barn. Don't want to walk that way? So we'll head towards the old dam then. Pretty substantial keyways on that baby. Hey, welcome to Pinawa Dam, past and present. A tour of the ruin, ruins includes the upper and lower walkways and a path through the former forebay. Allow about an hour. You'll find interpretive signs that depict the construction and operation of this facility from 1903 to 1951, when the dam was decommissioned. When the, when the Winnipeg Electric Railway Company proposed a year-round hydroelectric plant in Manitoba, some said it couldn't be done. The ice would ruin it. When the company said it was going to build the plant 100 kilometers from Winnipeg, others said it was impossible to send electricity that far over wires. 
When the company said the plant was going to generate 14,000 kilowatts still, others said building it was a big waste of money. Winnipeg would never use all that power. Construction began in 1903. In 1903, Winnipeg was a booming city with a population of 50,000 people. People heated their homes with coal or wood and used oil lamps for lighting. They didn't use electricity. Some electricity was being generated by steam plants, but just for business lighting, street lights and street cars. Winnipeg Electric Railway Company, which ran the first electric streetcar down Main Street in 1892, needed more power for its expanding transit and electrical streetlight systems. This private company was taking a big gamble on building the hydroelectric station in Pinawa. Even if it could overcome all the engineering, ice and transmission problems, there was no guaranteed market for all the power the plant would generate. That thing is probably 20 feet in diameter. So over those rocks there, that would be the spillway. And there you can just barely see the water flowing out. That would be where they released the water. Uh, it wasn't used. The power plant that produced the electricity was located here on the lower level. The wall held back the water which ensured the plant through the entered the plant through the large holes. If flooding if flooded into big metal tubes called uh, penstocks. Inside each penstock were two Francis turbines attached to a long shaft. Water pushed on the turbines like the wind on a child's pinwheel and the turbines turned. The water then rushed out the bottom and downstream. As the turbines turned, they also turned the long shaft. At the other end of the shaft was the generator. The generator was separated from the penstock by a wall that the shaft went through. The generator sat on the square pads of concrete. There were nine generators. Four started up in 1906 and the last five in 1907. A wall separated the generators from the penstocks. The dip at the edge of the concrete is where the penstock ended. Six teams of horses pulled each generator from Lac de Bonnie to Pinawa on a sleigh. The generators are what make the electricity. They have two parts, the rotor that rotates and the stator that stays put. Rotor is a big magnet, the stator is full of coils of wire. When the rotor rotates, the magnet makes all the electrons in the wires of the stator move in the same direction. The electrons moving in the wires are the electric current or electricity. Most of the employees worked in the generator house, oiling and caring for the generators and controlling the power produced. Staff worked in three shifts, around the clock, seven days a week. the concrete with wheelbarrows. From 1903 to 1906, 18,460 cubic meters or 24,000 cubic yards of concrete were poured here. It was all done with wheelbarrows. The concrete was made in a mixer and dumped into wheelbarrows. Workers pushed it to the spot to be poured. Sometimes the concrete was mixed in the wheelbarrow by hand. Concrete was poured right into the winter. The, the water and gravel were heated to make sure it didn't freeze before it set. Today's engineers are still impressed with the quality of this concrete. 
It cost three million dollars to build Pinawa. One million of it was for concrete. Pinawa was originally expected to produce 14,000 kilowatts, but the equipment was built so well that the power was increased to a standard of 22,000 kilowatts with a peak capacity of 28,000 kilowatts. So here's where the water would come in and it would pour down into these spots here. I see Amber's made it to the other side. Stuff like this makes her dizzy, so she kind of sucked it up and took a breath and she stood back a little bit and then she just went. So, so it's just a narrow concrete way, about 30, 36 inches wide maybe. Bit of this concrete wheelbarrows. That's that's quite the feat. Do you want me to go first? No. And then, okay. I went across. I'm going back across. I think it's just the water. The noise of the water. Yeah. It's my balance. I can't shake it for you. I know. It's a good thing. We should go to a suspension bridge again. You like those. Oh, yeah. That's what we love them. How come you're holding on? You can breathe again. What? You know I wasn't breathing. It's like a bridge. You don't breathe on bridges either. 